Everything about SpaceX and what they do stands out as different. They've built a rocket of an unprecedented size, something no one else has attempted. But it's not just the size. Everything from its construction materials to the long-term plans for its use breaks new ground. One of the most challenging parts of the plan for Starship is orbital refueling. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. Refueling a massive rocket in space. Surprisingly, SpaceX is already aiming to test this complex maneuver on Flight 6, and in this video, we're going to dive into how this will go down and whether SpaceX is ready to make it happen. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX's Starship program is advancing rapidly, with the sixth test flight scheduled for November 18, 2024. This mission aims to further develop the spacecraft's capabilities, particularly focusing on in-orbit refueling, a critical component for deep space missions to the Moon and Mars. In-orbit refueling involves transferring propellant between spacecraft while in space, which extends mission durations and increases payload capacities. For Starship, this process is essential for missions beyond low Earth orbit, as it allows the spacecraft to replenish its fuel tanks after the energy-intensive launch phase. The refueling procedure is expected to occur through a series of carefully coordinated steps. First, a Starship configured as a tanker will be launched into orbit, carrying a full load of propellant. Once in orbit, this tanker will rendezvous with the target Starship, aligning its docking ports for a secure connection. Once docked, the tanker will begin transferring propellant to the target Starship. This process requires precise control to manage the flow of cryogenic fuels, ensuring minimal boil-off and maintaining system integrity. After the transfer is complete, the two spacecraft will undock, allowing the refueled Starship to continue on its mission. However, for Flight 6, SpaceX won't be executing this full refueling operation just yet. Instead, this mission will focus on testing specific systems and operations. This involves performing parts of the refueling steps under realistic conditions, where SpaceX can observe and address challenges with cryogenic propellant handling, temperature regulation, and pressure stability in space. For instance, during Flight 6, SpaceX may conduct a chill-down test to confirm that the refueling hardware can maintain the ultra-cold temperatures necessary for cryogenic fuel transfer. This could include cooling certain components, simulating docking operations, or testing the ability to manage and reduce boil-off under orbital conditions. Flight 6 is designed to build upon the successes of previous missions. The launch is scheduled for November 18, 2024, with a 30-minute launch window opening at 4 p.m. The launch will take place from SpaceX's Starbase facility near Boca Chica Beach in South Texas. The mission profile begins with liftoff and ascent. The Super Heavy booster, equipped with 33 Raptor engines, will ignite and lift the Starship vehicle off the pad. Approximately 159 seconds into the flight, at an altitude of around 65 kilometers, the booster will cut off all but three of its center engines. This will be followed by stage separation, with the Starship upper stage igniting its engines while still attached to the booster, initiating a hot staging maneuver. This technique involves the booster throttling down its engines before separation, allowing the upper stage to continue its ascent to orbit. After separation, the Super Heavy booster will perform a boost back burn, using its grid fins for minor course corrections. Shortly before landing, it will ignite its engines to slow down sufficiently to be caught by the mechanical arms attached to the launch tower. The Starship upper stage will continue to accelerate to orbital velocity. Once in orbit, it is designed to be refueled by another Starship tanker variant, which will enable it to reach higher energy destinations, such as geosynchronous orbit, the Moon, and Mars. For bodies with an atmosphere like Earth and Mars, Starship will perform a belly flop maneuver during re-entry, using four flaps to control its descent. Shortly before landing, the Raptor engines will fire, bringing the spacecraft into a vertical orientation for touchdown. There were rumors that SpaceX would try to catch the Starship upper stage with the Mechazilla arms during Flight 6. Considered attempting this ambitious catch, they later determined that they're not ready just yet for such a complex operation. 
The challenges of catching the upper stage are far more intense than those of the super heavy booster. One of the primary reasons the upper stage catch is more difficult lies in its re-entry profile. Unlike the booster, which performs a controlled descent after reaching a lower altitude, the upper stage will typically re-enter Earth's atmosphere from orbit. This re-entry happens at significantly higher speeds, subjecting the vehicle to extreme heat and requiring a highly reliable thermal protection system. The upper stage also undergoes the iconic belly flop maneuver, which allows it to slow down using aerodynamic surfaces rather than solely relying on its engines. This belly flop technique, while effective for slowing descent, requires precise control and careful timing to adjust orientation mid-descent. To make it align with Mechazilla's catch arms would demand even more refined technology and accuracy than what's needed for the booster. Another layer of complexity is the potential risk associated with the upper stage's higher mass and its full array of components that make it fit for deep space missions. However, insiders have speculated that SpaceX might attempt the upper stage catch as soon as Flight 7, once they've fine-tuned Mechazilla's systems and gathered enough data from earlier test flights. Flight 7's timeline hasn't been officially confirmed, as it likely depends on the outcome of Flight 6 and the readiness of both hardware and procedures. However, it's highly likely that this flight will take place in late December or early January, based on current preparation speeds and typical scheduling patterns. Following Flight 5, Musk has been posting images and updates about Starship, keeping interest high as SpaceX prepares for the next test. Recently, he reposted a tweet that said, Starship Flight 6 is set to launch as early as Monday, November 18th, giving followers a clear timeline for the next flight. Musk also shared a post from Tesla owner Silicon Valley, which joked, At SpaceX, we specialize in converting things from impossible to late. In another repost, Musk shared a video of Starship with the caption, Hop in, boys and girls, let's go to Mars underlining SpaceX's goal of making Mars exploration a reality. In preparation for Flight 6, SpaceX has undertaken a series of critical tests and developments to ensure the mission's success. A significant milestone was achieved on September 18, 2024, when SpaceX conducted a static fire test of Ship 31, the upper stage designated for this mission. This test involved igniting the six Raptor engines while the vehicle remained stationary, allowing engineers to verify engine performance and system integrity. The successful completion of this static fire test marked a crucial step forward, demonstrating that Ship 31's propulsion systems are ready for the upcoming flight. Following the static fire test, SpaceX continued its preparations by rolling out the Super Heavy booster intended for Flight 6 to the launch pad in late October 2024. This booster, equipped with 33 Raptor engines, is designed to provide the necessary thrust to propel the Starship upper stage into orbit. In addition to these major milestones, SpaceX has been conducting a series of other tests and evaluations to ensure the readiness of all components involved in Flight 6. These include cryogenic proof tests, where the tanks of both the booster and the upper stage are filled with super-cold liquid nitrogen to verify their structural integrity under extreme temperatures and pressures. Such tests are essential to ensure that the tanks can safely hold the cryogenic propellants, liquid methane, and liquid oxygen that will be used during the actual flight. Moreover, SpaceX has been refining its ground support equipment and procedures to support the upcoming launch. This includes the development and testing of fueling systems, launch pad infrastructure, and the Mechazilla catching mechanism. The Mechazilla system, designed to catch the returning booster using mechanical arms attached to the launch tower, has undergone several tests to validate its functionality and reliability. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.